I'm rolling. <clears throat> I'm on the camera. Who's this? Yeah. What? Hey, Tim. Hey, I, I'm right. Um, I'm on camera, so I have to call you back in like 15 minutes. Okay, bye. Okay. Uh, congratulations on your induction to Rock Thank you very much. 34 years of making music. That's a long With, uh, time. Recent release of The Promise. Um, is, is it still the same today as it was 34 years ago? I don't think anything's still the no. same, but it's, uh, we uh, kind of evolve into what it is now, you know, and actually um, we're just kind of carrying on the, the whole idea of what, what we started 34 years I mean, ago. Is it the same, same sort of creative high that you... Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. The same sense of enjoyment, of fulfillment is still there. Um, currently with the lineup consisting of both veteran members and, and, and other new players, how does that work how, you know, as far as uh, the combining of the two different types of generations of, of players? Or? Well, you have, you have musicians that have come in now that are of a younger generation that give us another a take on their take on our music, um, not changing it drastically but just bringing a di different special element to it are there are the musical influences very similar or do they you know or do you have all kinds of different types of they they've been def definitely similar earthland fires music from a chordal and rhythmic standpoint is definitely of a higher nature in terms of you have to be pretty savvy at what you you know music period that's of the understanding understanding of music to actually get around the songs, so for the lot of pe for the people that play with us, they have pretty much all gone similar paths in in uh, uh, developing themselves. So they have uh, similar uh, tastes in musicians that they've listened to. A lot of our stuff is a lot of jazz changes and, and complex um, chord progressions and you know stuff like that. So you know you have to listen to a lot of jazz or gospel. Speaking of jazz, who were your major influences when you were growing up that helped you start your track towards music? Well, I'm not, well my, my major influences came from, I came basically from the church and from the streets. Uh, I was a, a jazz musician as a kid and I learned to play the blues and jazz and gospel and that whole thing. <clears throat> Some of my major influences was like people like Ray Charles, that's his whole his whole group, the way he had put it together, and of course uh, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, people like that. Has that also helped as far as you producing albums too? Is well, my whole thing is that I, I um, evolved into a dr being a drummer, uh -huh. and so the drummer has to know everybody's parts. I mean, when you play in a band as a drummer, you got to know everybody's parts. So I, so it, it it caused me to listen very closely to what was going on musically. So it put me very close to the music and the interpretation of what everybody else was playing. So um, that, that's, that's really what happened. And that's it. It's amazing how all the drummers are in this band. Yeah, yeah there was actually drummers. six at one time. Yeah, we had six drummers at one yeah, time. Yeah, because myself and Maurice, Al McKay, uh, Ralph, uh, Fred. and Ver Freddie and Verdine started uh -huh. on drums uh -huh. at the beginning. So there was a lot of drummers. Is there a lot of input as far as drum parts or, you know, or or, you know, the same, put this lick into a certain thing. I mean, well, it's just well, a matter of everybody kind of understanding the same thing because everybody is rhythmic. Yeah, the whole thing is rhythm. I mean, if you notice in the records we've made, uh, rhythmically, uh, the, song, the song is real strong. Right. There's a whole rhythm sense. Uh, and it's because of the drumming aspect. Yeah. You know. I'm not going to drop this one. <laughs> I'm not going to drop this anymore, okay? Is the mic still up there? Is the mic still on the shirt? Yeah, it's still on the shirt. Last okay. question. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire has always been known for its elaborate stage shows. Yeah. What's in store for the tour in 2003? Well, right now the show is moderately elaborate. We don't have any of the um, the uh, special effects and stuff that we used to do back in the 70s or not, anything like that. But of course, in costume and 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 uh, lighting designs and stuff, we still try to keep the same caliber of, of show um, things 
you know, have changed a lot now, but uh, we still try to bring it. Very cool. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.